हेलो फ्रेंड्स माई सेल्फ आर डी महाजन प्रेजेंटिंग माई न्यू सीरीज ऑफ वीडियोज ऑन पार्शल डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन एंड देअर एप्लीकेशन इन द फर्स्ट वीडियो आई विल डिस्कस वॉट इन माई पार्शल डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन एंड इट्स एप्लीकेशन एंड द फर्स्ट पॉइंट फॉर्मेशन ऑफ पार्शल डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन बाय एलिमिनेटिंग आर्बिटरी कॉन्स्टेंट और फंक्शन Uh, let us uh, define what is the partial differential equation. Uh, any equation containing partial differential coefficient is called as partial differential equation. Then we think what is the partial differential coefficient. For that we consider uh, z as function of two independent variable x and y, and whenever it is function of more than one independent variable, whatever the derivatives we are obtaining. That derivatives are called as partial derivatives, and therefore, if we differentiate this function with respect to x and with respect to y, uh, we are getting uh, do z by do x partial derivative of z with respect to x. We denote it as p. Do z by do y, we denote it as q. Uh, second derivative, that is do two z by do x square, we denote it by r s. As do two z by do x do y and t as do two z by do y square. These are the standard notations or uh, usual notations that are used to represent partial differential coefficient p, q, r, s, and t. Then, what are the areas where we can use that partial differential equation? The areas are fluid mechanics, quantum mechanics, and heat transfer. These are some of the areas where we can use this partial differential equation then i will discuss the first point how we can form partial differential equation by eliminating arbitrary constant and function uh, first point uh, formation of partial differential equation by eliminating arbitrary constant and functions uh, for that uh, consider function of x y z Where z is function of that two independent variable x and y, and constant a and b, and that function is equals to zero, and then differentiating this function with respect to x and with respect to y, differentiating first with respect to x, we get differentiation of that f with respect derivative as do f by do x. Uh, Plus differentiation of that f with respect to z, an applying chain rule as it is function of function, uh, we differentiate that z with respect to x. A and b are constant, therefore derivative of that term is zero, and this is nothing but do f by do x. Plus, uh, just we have seen that this do z by do x is denoted by Small p, therefore, into do f by do z is equals to zero. We call this as equation two. Then differentiating that equation one with respect to y, differentiating with respect to y. This time we keep x constant, and therefore we get partial derivative of that f as do f by do y plus A uh, differentiation of f with respect to z and z with respect to y using chain rule, and a and b are constant term. Its derivative is zero, and this is nothing but do f by do y plus uh, this do z by do y. Just we have seen it is nothing but q small q into do f by do z. Is equals to zero. Uh, we get this as equation three. Like this, uh, we can develop or generate a differential equation, a partial differential equation. Then let us try to solve some simple example. Uh, in this first part, I will discuss three simple examples on this point: formation of partial differential equation by eliminating. Arbitrary constant. 
question is uh, form a partial differential equation for the first one uh, z is equal to ax plus by plus ab therefore here z becomes a function of two independent variable and therefore whatever the derivatives we are obtaining are partial derivatives and as it is function of x and y first we differentiate it with respect to x differentiating with respect to x uh, derivative of z with respect to x is dou z by dou x. Uh, differentiating right hand side with respect to x, keeping y constant. Therefore, differentiation of this term is e. Uh, derivative of by is 0. And as a and b are constant, its derivative is also 0. And uh, this dou z by dou x is nothing but p. Therefore, we get p is equal to a or a is equal to p. Then, differentiating that function z with respect to y keeping x constant and therefore we get dou z by dou y as uh, this is a constant term its derivative is 0 its differentiation with respect to y uh, b constant we take outside uh, derivative of y with respect to y is 1 and a b is constant we get its derivative is 0 and dou z by dou y is nothing but p, uh, sorry, q. Therefore, we get b is equal to q. And substituting this here in this, uh, if we call this equation 1, that equation 1 becomes uh, z is equal to a into x. The value of a is p, therefore it is px plus by, but b is nothing but q, therefore it is qy, and plus ab, it is p into q. Uh, this is that differential equation, which we are calling as partial differential equation, in terms of pq, or we can uh, rewrite this as, that is z is equal to, p means dou z by dou x into x q means dou z by dou y into this y plus p q p q p is dou z by dou x and q means dou z by dou y uh, this is the required differential equation obtained by eliminating that arbitrary constant a and b. Uh, first simple example. Uh, one more. Second example. Uh, form a partial differential equation for the given z is equal to a into x plus b into y plus a square plus b square. Therefore, uh, we call this as equation number one as a given which is a function of x and y and as it is function of x and y two independent variable uh, differentiating first with respect to x keeping y constant therefore derivative of z with respect to x is dou z by dou x differentiation of x is a differentiation of by is zero uh, differentiation of a square and b square as both are constant term, is derivative 0. Next, uh, but dou z by dou x is nothing but p, therefore we get p is equal to a. Then differentiating 1 with respect to y, we get partial derivative of z with respect to y as dou z by dou y. Uh, x is constant with respect to y, is derivative 0. Uh, differentiation of by is b and a and a square and b square are the constant term derivative is 0 but dou z by dou y is nothing but q we get q is equals to b therefore using this in equation 1 equation 1 becomes we get z is equals to a into x a is p Therefore, Px 
plus b y but b is q therefore it is q y plus a square b square and b square it is q square this is the required partial differential equation or we can rewrite that as z is equals to p means dou z by dou x into x uh, qy therefore it is y into q q is dou z by dou y plus p square but p is nothing but dou z by dou x and its square uh, q square uh, dou z by dou y whole square is the required partial differential equation where I have eliminated that arbitrary constant a and b to form this partial differential equation. Uh, one more example uh, form a partial differential equation for the given here given is 2z is equal to x square by a square plus y square by b square means here z becomes a function of two independent variables x and y and that's a and b are the arbitrary constant therefore differentiating this with respect to x uh, two constant derivative of z with respect to x is dou z by dou x is equals to a uh, differentiation of x square with respect to x is 2x by a square y square and b square are constant term is derivative 0 and therefore we get 2z by dou sorry dou z by dou x as 2 to get cancelled we get x by a square it gives you x is equal to a square into dou z by dou x but dou z by dou x is p then differentiating 1 with respect to y differentiating 1 with respect to y this time we keep x constant a uh, consider constant term and therefore derivative of that equation one with respect to y is true into dou z by dou y is equals to uh, as it is constant term is derivative zero uh, differentiation of y square is 2y and divided by b square or uh, 1 by b square we take outside and differentiation of y square is 2y. 2 to get cancelled, it implies dou z by dou y as y upon b square. And therefore, we get y is equals to b square into dou z by dou y, which is nothing but q. And therefore, uh, substituting that values in equation 1, equation 1 becomes as x by p and value of b square as y by q. And therefore, using this here, we get x square divided by a square but a square is x by p plus y square divided by b square but the value of b square is y by q uh, 1 x get cancelled it is x divided by 1 by p therefore that 1 by p goes to numerator we get that term as p into x uh, here also y, one y get cancelled, y upon 1 by q, we get q into y as the required differential equation. Or we can rewrite as 2z is equals to x into p, p means dou z by dou x plus qy, y means dou z by dou y. That is the required partial differential equation. Therefore, in this first video, I have discussed uh, Three simple examples how we can generate or how we can form a partial differential equation from the given function. 
in my next video i will discuss three more examples how we can form a partial differential equation uh, if you like my video please share it as well as subscribe to my channel if you are not subscribed yet to receive the notification for such type of my new videos for that you have to press the bell icon thank you